I'm going to do a video today on uh, a different style of furnace since I started making the micro minis and the fives and the sixes. Uh, people ask me, you know, why don't you do the the vortex heat system inside instead of a convergent like I use. Well, the convergent works good and it works fast. So, with time on my hands this week, I went ahead and I built a furnace that's going to use the vortex flow of gas in there where it will go around the crucible instead of at it. Uh, I'll get the other torch put in there and lit and we'll, we'll uh, take a look at it and see what we get. I need a bigger exhaust port than that. It just choked the burners right down. Uh, but what the hey, I'll see what I get. I'll make a little spacer there and, uh, so I can get the burners open back up. I stuck a couple of pieces of graphite underneath the, between the furnace and the lid and that let me open the torches back up. Uh, the, the gases are going to volume that I put in so this was big enough for convergent it worked fine this is the same design lid that I make for the six uh, I'll have to take that hole out to possibly four inches four and a half inches so well 20 after eight let's see what I get of a new day. Uh, I mean, it's a rare Sunday. I didn't have anything to do as far as eBay goes. I went ahead and fired up the torch, burn out the two opposing inlet ports, and uh, 
cut in the convergent, made the torch holders, got the torches in, relined it, and right now I'm in the process of curing this, so it's just going to run on idle fire for... Normally, to cure this in an oven, I'd cure it for four hours at uh, 250 degrees, two hours at 375 degrees. But today it's getting two torches on low fire for probably 20 minutes, so I'll be back. Well, the KO wool inside is uh, just about ready to go. It's been curing for, oh, probably 20 minutes now. It's just starting to glow inside. It just had to get all of the rigidizer uh, of the liquid in it to evaporated uh, and just one note of interest uh, both torches are running wide open right now and yesterday I could not do that without adding extra air to it but I'm still getting a little steam out the bottom of the furnace so I've got a number one clay graphite charged up with silver and borax and as soon as she gets ready to go I'll uh, say to be careful when if you run the furnace indoors that's the heat signature coming out of the top of the furnace the shadow and I mean it it is very aggressive and very hot for a good six eight feet above the furnace so anytime I run them I'm running them outside okay she's pretty dry I'm gonna I've got the furnace throttled back and I'm going to go ahead and charge it up and uh, we'll see what we get. but I did yesterday. I was in a hurry to get out of here. Uh, needless to say, I have a brand new clay graphite crucible in there and what I'm doing right now is just on low fire. I'm going to let it uh, just warm up a little bit. And, uh, I've got six ounces of silver in there. Uh, so as soon as that crucible gets about 10 minutes on low fire, I'll go ahead and put the lid on and uh, we'll see what we get. Okay, <laughs> excuse me, crucible's reasonably warm and uh, 
If there was any moisture in there, it's since gone. So I'll close the lid up and we'll see how long it takes to melt that. Definitely the convergent furnace 